Hello students. In this lecture, we will be learning about few definitions under the topic fuzzy set theory with examples. The definitions will be alpha cut, strong alpha cut, level set and few properties of alpha cut and strong alpha cut. To begin with, first we shall learn the definition of alpha cut. So what is alpha cut? Given a fuzzy set A defined on the universal set X and any number alpha belonging to 0, 1. So any arbitrary alpha in this interval. Then the alpha cut which is represented in this way. So A alpha. So this is the representation used in our pre uh, prescribed textbook. So we will follow the same representation here. So alpha A is the crisp set. So it is going to be a crisp set that contains all the elements of the universal set X whose membership grades in A in that fuzzy set are greater than or equal to the specified value of alpha. That is to understand it better the alpha cut of a fuzzy set is represented by alpha A and that is equal to all those elements of the universal set X which has a membership grade that is greater than or equal to alpha in the fuzzy set A. So to understand it better let me show this with the help of an example and before seeing the example we will see what is strong alpha cut the only difference between alpha cut and strong alpha cut is that in alpha cut it will be greater than or equal to alpha will be here. Whereas for strong alpha cut we consider only those which are greater than alpha. So this is the only difference. Now let's understand these two concepts with a better with the help of an example. Dear students we will consider our own example where we will consider the universal set to be the ages that is 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75 and 85. So th this is the universal set that we are going to consider. Now what kind of fuzzy set are we going to consider? We will consider more than one fuzzy sets so that we can use uh, this one example and learn the various definitions of uh, the fuzzy set theory. So what we will do, we will consider a fuzzy set A1 first and we will consider the set of infants. Okay, So this will represent the set of infants in this universal set. And then we will consider another fuzzy set A2 where we will give the criteria to be a kid. So a kid in this universal set. And then we will consider another fuzzy set for which the criteria we will give it as young. So all those uh, ages which, which come under the criteria young. And then we will consider another fuzzy set A4 and we will consider the criteria to be, criteria to be adult. And then finally we will consider one more fuzzy set and let it be senior citizens. Okay, So senior. Uh, so these are the categories that we are going to uh, form under the concept of fuzzy set. Now let's form a table to represent the age and the criteria that we have chosen. Now we have represented this in the form of a tabular column where we have considered the age here. So I have written all the members of the universal set that is 5, 15, 25 to 85. And now here I have considered the fuzzy sets A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5. Now what we will do is we will give the membership values now for all these fuzzy sets which will represent the relationship between the fuzzy set and the ages that we have considered here which will represent the degree of relationship by giving the membership values we will first uh, start with the, by giving the membership values so now first if we consider the fuzzy set a1 the category is infant so now we have to see wh which are the ages which come under this category actually 
infant is is all about a, a small a baby so the here the age is starting from 5 only so definitely uh, this will not come under infant so the membership grade for 5 is 0 so when this is zero definitely 15 25 are more than uh, this which which will not come under the category of infant and so the membership grade for all the, these ages that is from the universal set will take the membership value to be zero because infants does not come under this age so now we will so this is the fuzzy set a1 now next we will take the fuzzy set a2 so a kid so definitely 5 for the uh, the child with age 5 is a kid so it it takes the membership value 1 because we are very sure that at the age of 5 the child will, will be a kid but at the age of 15 he is not a kid exactly but he is grown up but he has just come uh, become uh, some uh, that is he has just quite closer to the age of a kid so i can give a membership grade of 0.3 something like that because he is not very uh, closer to the uh, age of kid so he is little closer to the age of kid so i am giving a membership grade of 0.3 you may have consider uh, the age 15 to be uh, like 0.4 0.5 it is as per your uh, wish but the, we can just understand how closer he is uh like uh to the age of a kid but if you see 25 at the age of 25 definitely the child cannot be a kid so i mean uh, at the age of 25 it a kid doesn't come under this category so the it will take the membership value zero so similarly these ages also take the membership value zero because th these ages does not fall under the category of a kid okay so now next here for the fuzzy set a3 so now here we will uh we we find that it is young we know that 5 is not uh, a grown up young uh, he will be just a kid i mean uh, he is he is um, yeah he or she will not fun, fa fall under the category of young so we can give the membership grade as 15 but um i mean zero for the age 15 he is quite closer to the uh, category of young so we can give here the membership grade to be 0.2 and here at the age of 25 he is more closer to ang of course he is ang so 0.8 but at the we, we may consider at the age of 35 exactly he is ang so we may take the membership grade to be 1 over here at the age of 45 he is of course closer to the category and so i may give it give the membership value as 0.6 so at the age of 55 he is again okay he is uh, not too old he may be considered he may feel ang so at the age of 65 definitely he would have lost all his uh, energy so he cannot be considered and uh, considered as young so we can give some 0.1 so at the age of 75 definitely he is not young so we can give 0 over here and at the age of 85 zero of course so now next we have the category next fuzzy set adult so now what can be considered as adult so this 5 uh, will take the membership grade zero because definitely he is not an adult next comes the age of 15 no he is still not an adult so we can give zero to him because we are very sure so at the age of 25 he is growing up to be an adult so we can give some 0.7 at the age of 35 oh yes of course he is approaching to be an adult almost he is an adult so i can give some 0.9 but for 45 definitely he has become an adult so i can give one so after 45 definitely he is an adult he or she so we can give full membership for all those ages because all these people are adult so they come under the category adult so they are uh, they uh, get the full membership grade so it is one and now finally we have the last fuzzy set a5 which is considered to be senior now if you see 5 here 0 because they are not senior definitely 25 35 45 also is not a senior but 55 we can understand that he is almost becoming a senior so we can give some 0.8 and at the age of 65 he is very close to become a senior citizen and then at the age of 75 he has become a senior citizen so we can give one and at the age of age of 85 also he is a senior so we can give one so this is how we give the membership degrees according to the perspective and according to the criteria that fall under the fuzzy set so now uh, we have formed different kind of fuzzy sets here now using all this we will just see learn the definitions that we have stated so far 
so first we learnt about the uh, definition of alpha cut so what did we learn all those elements of the universal set for which uh, the membership grade is greater than or equal to alpha so we have to fix this alpha in between the interval closed interval 0 comma 1 so we have to arbitrarily first choose alpha and then find the alpha cut so let us do that now so now let us consider the some value for alpha so maybe i can consider alpha equal to some 0 0.2 now let us consider some, one of the fuzzy set out of these all five fuzzy sets. Maybe I can consider the fuzzy set uh, young that is A3. So I am considering the fuzzy set A3 and I want to find the alpha cut that is 0 0.2 cut of the fuzzy set A3. And that will be equal to all those elements for which the membership grade will be greater than or equal to alpha that is in this set so this is the set a3 from this i i should consider the fuzzy set for which i mean i should consider the elements so this is the elements of the universal set for which the membership grade will be greater than or equal to alpha now if you see 0 0.2 we have here it this is equal to the alpha value that is 0 0.2 so this is equal so what is the element that we have it is 15 so that only sh we should write here because that is the uh, it is a crisp set actually so 15 comma now next 0 0.8 0 0.8 is of course greater than 0 0.2 so what is the element corresponding to it 25 so we should write 25 here okay so now next uh, uh, next what do we have the element 1 so 1 is obviously greater than 0 0.2 and what is the corresponding age for it it is 35 so i should i'm going to write 35 here and then we have the value 0 0.6 0 0.6 is greater than 0 0.2 and the corresponding age is 45 so i'm writing 45 over here and then what is the value that we have we have the value 0 0.4 0 0.4 is also greater than 0 0.2 and the corresponding age is 55 so i am including 55 in this set and next we have 0 0.1 but 0 0.1 is not greater than uh, i mean it is lesser than 0 0.2 so it will not come under this and next we have 0 and 0 and so the finish the set is done so therefore the alpha cut of a3 is the crisp set which contains these elements 15 25 35 45 and 55 and what will be a strong uh, alpha cut that is the set will be 0 0.2 we have to give a positive sign here a3 now we will consider the strong alpha cut as per the definition of strong alpha cut we will consider only those membership grades for which is come sure which is strictly greater than alpha and it won't be equal to alpha so now if you see the only value equal to alpha is 0 0.2 so we should not consider 15 rest is same as the alpha cut so this 15 we have to exclude and we have to write 25 35 45 and 55 so this is alpha cut and this is strong alpha cut hope you have understood the definition of alpha cut and strong alpha cut we will just take one more example where we will consider alpha to be equal to some 0 0.4 and we will consider the same category so 0 0.4 uh, a3 we will consider that is the young so if we see 0 0.2 we have here so it won't come so we have 0 0.8 1 and then 0 0.6 0 0.4 and all these values will not come so only these four values 1 2 3 4 and the corresponding elements are 25 35 45 and 55 so that only we should write here so 25 35 45 and 55 because uh, this is alpha cut we should include the membership grade 0 0.5 so i have included the 0 0.5 for which we got 55 but if it is going to be a strong alpha cut so it is 0 0.4 plus a3 so strong alpha cut we, we have to exclude the 0 0.4 which is uh, 55 we have to exclude because the corresponding age is 55 over here so excluding that 55 we will be getting 25 35 and 45 so this is the strong alpha cut so this is alpha cut and this is strong alpha cut 
now we will see one very important property so now if you see the total ordering of the values of alpha in closed interval 0 comma 1 is inversely preserved by set inclusion of the corresponding alpha cuts and strong alpha cuts okay what does this what does this mean actually if you take two different values of alpha in the closed interval 0 comma 1 and if you apply upon one fuzzy set that is you choose it in such a manner that uh, alpha 1 is lesser than alpha 2 so what will happen is when we could consider the fuzzy set the, the alpha cut of a will contain the elements of alpha cut of uh, alpha 2 cut of a so that is the thing actually if alpha 1 is lesser than alpha 2 then the uh, alpha cut, alpha 1 cut of a will contain the elements of alpha 2 cut of a you can also say that alpha 2 cut of a will be a subset of alpha 1 cut of a or uh, it, uh, it applies for this uh, strong alpha cut also so let me just show you with the help of an example that is this now we saw we have found the alpha cut values for alpha to be equal to 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 so let me consider this as alpha 1 and this as alpha 2 now this is our alpha 2 and here we have alpha 1 now what is the uh, alpha cut of a3 we have considered the fuzzy set a3 so if you see 0 0.2 of a3 is equal to 15 25 35 45 55 so these are the elements what about the 0 i mean um, 0 0.4 because uh, here if you see alpha 1 is lesser than alpha 2 we have chosen in that manner 0 0.2 is lesser than 0 0.4 so if you see when when it is like this, the alpha cut of a3 is this set and the alpha cut that is 0 0.4 of a3 is this set so these elements we can see that they are contained in this set so that is this a3 is a subset of this uh, a3 that is 0 0.4 of a3 okay this alpha cut set is contained in 0 0.2 of a3 and we took what, what we took alpha 1 to be lesser than equal lesser than alpha 2 that is 0 0.2 is lesser than 0 0.4 obviously then the uh, set uh, 0 0.4 of a3 will be contained in 0 0.2 of a3 just now we checked it so this is how it is similarly this will be the same for the strong alpha cut also so the strong alpha cut of a3 uh, for the alpha for alpha equal to 0 0.4 will be a subset of strong alpha cut of a3 for this when this value is lesser than this value okay so now if you see the strong alpha cut is here 25 35 45 55 and here what is it 25 35 45 so it is a subset obviously so this is a subset of this strong uh, alpha cut set okay so this is the important property of alpha cut the property is if alpha 1 is lesser than alpha 2 then alpha 2 cut of a will be a subset of alpha 1 cut of a or you can say that alpha 1 cut of a will contain the set alpha 2 cut of a any way you can write it so this is the concept of alpha cuts and the same applies for the strong alpha cut also we will just see only one more definition which is the level set the set of all levels for alpha to be an element of 0 comma closed interval 0 comma 1 that represent distinct alpha cuts of a given fuzzy set a is called a level set of a so all those alpha cut sets we take and we consider we put it in one set and that set is known as level set and it is denoted in this uh, symbol so where this symbol denotes the level set of a fuzzy set a defined on x hope you have understood the concept of alpha cut in our next video we will learn about support of a fuzzy set height of a fuzzy set and normalized fuzzy set thank you